So these are our mean levels of, of ocean water at the coast, our mean sea levels. But mean sea level is not the story that you'll see any one day when you go out to the coast. You'll see mean sea level plus or minus the variation of a number of other processes. And so we'll add those in as we go. Just on this graph, um, the separation of these lines is artificial. That's just that we can draw the lines out and see the differences between them. So don't think that Wellington is better off um, than Auckland. We've just pulled those lines apart. What I would like you to note is the difference in the trend. So that's our smooth linear increase here and the variation about that trend. So in any one year, you might find that our local sea level is quite far from the average trend. And we're going to look at the processes that cause that over time. One of the processes that causes that is ENSO, or El Nino Southern Oscillation Cycles. So here we've got some satellite data, an El Nino year and a La Nina year. During La Nina conditions, um, we have a set of winds which pushes water, warm surface water, across the Pacific from South America over here, and it pushes it towards Indonesia and Australia. So you get all of this water stacking up on our side of the Pacific, and the sea levels go up on our side of the Pacific. They go down off South America, which leads to upwelling and a good anchovy crop. Um, <laughs> Then El Nino comes along and the wind systems that drive or are coupled with the ocean circulation break down and the water sloshes back across the Pacific. So the sea level across the Pacific seesaws and changes um, under La Nina, uh, sorry, El Nino conditions. So we've got all of our warm surface water heading back across towards South America. The sea levels in South America go up, our sea